Welcome back to another episode of ABA Compare and Contrast, the series where I take characters from ABA and compare them to characters from Heaven's Arena. Today's episode, Vegito. Before this video begins, if you guys like this series, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe so I'll continue to make more. Now, I know most people don't like when this is brought up, but I have to bring in the graph. I mean, just look at this difference. So, if you've been keeping track of my community posts, then you'd know that Vegito had won the poll that I posted a few days ago. So that's why today, we'll be comparing Vegito from ABA and from Heaven's Arena. With that all said, let's begin. Now, I think we'll start off with Heaven's Arena for today. Vegito and Heaven's Arena consist of 6 moves, technically 7 slash 8 moves if you really want to count all the variations. Now, these moves are Banshee Blast, a blockable projectile that when used near an opponent will auto aim towards them, and it can also split up between targets, but when not near an opponent, it will go straight forward. Banshee Blast E Variation This move doesn't have a name, but when you hold E and use Banshee Blast, Banshee Blast will go straight forward even if you're near an opponent. Spirit Sword a decently ranged guard break which combo extends. This move also has the range of an evasion, so if you play your cards correctly, whenever your opponent uses evasion, you can immediately turn around and hit them with a spirit sword for a free combo. Spirit Sword Slash. This move is only usable whenever you hold E and press spirit sword. Basically, you swing the keyblade forward, knocking away anyone who's in its path. Although, unlike its base variant, this move does not guard break. Spirit Sword Get Up. If you're knocked on the ground and press Spirit Sword, right before you get up, you'll unleash your Spirit Sword onto the closest opponent, granting you a free combo, although this move does not work if they're standing directly on top of you. Savage Strike Vegito uses instant transmission to teleport on top of the opponent, as he then strikes them to the ground, leaving them grounded for a few seconds. Despite how it looks, this move does not guard break surprisingly. Final Kamehameha Vegito takes a second as he unleashes his devastating Final Kamehameha. Like other ultimates, this move will guard break and hits grounded opponents, with the final hit of course knocking back. Transform. This move appears whenever you hold E and replaces your final Kamehameha until you let go of E. After a decently long cooldown, you'll be able to use this move. Despite how it looks, it's not an awakening. You're only able to transform twice, each time giving you a small damage boost. The first transformation being Super Vegito, and the second one being Vegito Blue. You'll keep these transformations until you die, although the cooldown for the transformation will not carry over after death. Now, with Heaven's Arena's Vegito covered, let's look over ABA's Vegito now. As usual to ABA characters, Vegito consists of 8 moves in total, 4 in base, and 4 in awakening. Here, let's just get on with the showcase. Cross Kicks, a 2 hit combo ender which deals 30 damage in total. The final hit will guard break, although if not blocked, it'll knock back. Split Finger Shot, a blockable combo extender in which Vegito fires 3 key blasts, all dealing 10 damage. Savage Strike Vegito uses instant transmission to teleport above the opponent, as he then strikes them downwards for 15 damage. Unlike Heaven's Arena, this move will guard break, although it's pretty easy to dodge. Spirit Sword Vegito dashes forward as he forms a keyblade that he uses to swipe in front of him, stunning anyone that's hit by it. You can use this move to combo extend by laddering with it. As for Awakening, Vegito takes the form of Super Saiyan Blue. Cross Kicks This move functions similar to base, but with 4 kicks instead of 2. And for some reason, it deals the same amount of damage as base, so... Huh. Super Spirit Sword Like base, Vegito will dash forward and form a Keyblade, which he'll swing twice this time. Both hits dealing 15 damage, although only the first hit will guard break. Split Finger Shot Instead of 3 Key Blasts, Vegito will fire 6 Key Blasts, which combo extend. And just like in base, each Key Blast will deal 10 damage, bringing the total damage to 60. Final Kamehameha Vegito takes a second to prepare his final Kamehameha, as he then shoots it towards where his mouse is pointing. This move will guard break, although it has a ton of startup to it. Now, this is a section where I give my opinions on the characters. So, let's begin with Heaven's Arena. Heaven's Arena's Vegito is super solid. I mean, it makes sense. He's a Game Pass character and all, but putting that aside, his combos deal heavy amounts of damage, especially when he's in one of his transformations. He also has many options for his moves. He might even have one of, if not THE most variation of moves for a character in Heaven's Arena, aside from, you know, characters who changed their moveset in Awakenings. Not to mention his ultimate, 
which can deal around half of an opponent's HP, and even more when Super Saiyan Blue is active. Without a doubt, this Vegito is strong. Now for ABA's Vegito. This Vegito is also super solid, and his combos are way more deadly. Although he lacks good guard breaks, the fact that getting hit by Spirit Sword can lead into an insta-kill combo definitely makes up for it. And then Awakening makes it even more deadlier by making Spirit Sword into a guard break. Not to mention the fact that his main combo extender in Awakening deals 60 damage. And this move isn't like a barrage where you can miss most of its hits while trying to combo. You see, with this move, if you ladder with it, you're practically able to hit all 6 shots. Now, this is going to be kind of hard to say who wins this, as ABA's Vegito is super strong and can kill you in one combo, but is super predictable and can be punished pretty easily. Then for Heaven's Arena's Vegito, who's definitely strong and way more versatile, but has a couple of downsides with him, like his damage being severely limited if he doesn't have his Spirit Sword back. If anything, I might have to give these two a tie. Hmm... Both M1 Reliant characters with strong combos that become even deadlier when transformed. Yeah, I might have to end this one in a tie. It's pretty hard to decide. Like, on one hand, ABA's Vegito has a bunch of positives that come with him, but gets weighed down because of his negatives. And on the other hand, Heaven's Arena's Vegito has not as many positives, but less negatives. So yeah, I'm gonna say it's a tie. There's probably something I'm forgetting that makes one of the two win, but keep in mind, it's all my opinion. And don't forget to leave your take on ABA's Vegito versus Heaven's Arena Vegito in the comment section below. If you guys like the series, then make sure to like and subscribe. We're really close to 2,000 subs, so it would be greatly appreciated. By the time this video is out, there should be a poll on my community post on what characters you guys would like to see next on Compare and Contrast. So yeah, go make sure to check that out and vote who you guys want. Now before we go, I do have a little bloopers of Defective trying to read my script, so here you go. Spirit Sword! Vegito dashes forward as he forms a keyblade that uses to swipe- That uses. <laughs> what? Damn it! <laughs> now you see how hard it is. I'm gonna turn off noise suppression so you can hear me better. It's probably gonna sound worse. <laughs> now you see how it feels to read a script. Spirit Sword! Vegito dashes forward as he uses- <laughs> <laughs> And for some reason, it deals the same amount of damage as base. It does! It deals 30 damage! <laughs> it does?! It does! Now, there's a lot more clips than that, but those were mainly the clips I wanted to show you guys. So, with that being said, I'll see you guys. Peace.